David Adam. Uh oh. Wonder how this text is gonna show up. I enlarged my texting on my phone. Maybe I can see I can see your comments a little easier now that I enlarged my text. Now, if that's you, the bull cows that just got on there, you guys aren't gonna comment because you're watching from your tube, TV tube. Anyway, anybody else got on here? Comment so oh, I got one person on here. It's probably just you guys. Man, my arm is hurting. Yo, oh yeah, you are real coming. All right, cool. What's up, bro? Man, I got messed up at work today, man. I smashed my finger with a sawzall. About fell in, collapsed on a, a, a two-story porch. About collapsed underneath our feet. Got to hurry and get off of it. First that happened. Then I smashed my finger and blood's going everywhere. And then I, I jacked my elbow up, man. It's super. It's hurting pretty bad right now. I could hardly eat. I was trying to fork my burritos and stuff, and it was like, man. Hurting, pain, man, pain, pain, pain. Three on here. Who's on here with me? Take talk to me, people. Two. What? You know you got people on here and they just jump off. Like, why did you get on here in the first place if you're gonna just jump off? Chris Spalding. Hey, what's up, dude? Ha. <laughs> Old time friend from way back in the day, from where I'm from. What up? Late for work. Look what I got. Check this guy out right here. Look at this. Boom! This thing is huge. Now, I got some awesome peppers, man. Come in from Chris Papaloni. Uncle Bull Cow. What's up, Jerry? Booyah! Now, I need hot sauce to be drinking tonight. Um. Anyway, he sent me a small, you know, he, did, he just got starting to get some ripe ones, and he he was gracious enough to bless me and send me some of his uh, peppers. And I'm like, man, he's got some really cool, he's doing some really cool grows this year. And I'm excited for him, man, because he's got some some uh, peppers I've seen around, but I ain't seen too many of these. And some of them I hadn't seen at all, and I definitely haven't had them. So, we're going to get into this here. I'll tweet. Now, I'm not going to, here's what I'm not going to do out of the bunch he sent me. I am definitely not going to do the chocolate bootless tonight. Nah, not happening. What I am going to do for sure is a lemon ghostly jalapeno. Now, for y'all that don't know what that is, well, where you at? That is a cross between a hob, habanero, a jalapeno and a ghost pepper. I'm assuming, I don't know which one's the lemon. Might get on there and ask that. What's that? Ooh, we never had one before there, Jason. Um, man, I don't like hoping mine is here tomorrow. Oh, cool. Um, I don't like it. I got this on, again, I did it. I chose to do the video in landscape because it picks up more. But for whatever reason, on the comments, when you try to like catch the scroll, it doesn't want to come up or something. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Or what? So it's kind of a pain. I definitely ain't putting it on that tripod, man. I was having, that was a hot mess, that last video, man. I was, it was all over the place. Anyway, ghostly jalapeno. I, here, we're going to get into the lemons tonight. I've never had this one here either before. Lemon scorpion. Now, he's gave me two. Here's a bigger one here. There's a little guy. Here's a bigger one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. And this, look, I'm just going to be honest, man. I'll tell you what has not been my friend so far this past couple of week, couple this week is ghost peppers. Ghost peppers have been kicking my butt here lately. I don't even know, like, I think the ghost peppers are tired of being like, they're all like, we're tired of the reaper and all you got your hot pepper scorpion. All you are going to come up and we're fighting back because all the ones I've been having, just regular red ghost. I had that uh, ghost cross the other day. <laughs> that red one, that same, those same, actually in the same day. Those were super, super, super hot ghost peppers. I am probably going to skip over these. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I am going to get into one of these yellow scorpions. Look at this. Yellow scorpion. It's, dude, these things are huge. Now, he says these aren't that hot. 
Don't be tricking me now, bull cow. I've been getting tricked here lately by y'all folks out there in YouTube world. Oh, our stuff's not that hot. Ah! And then I get all super fried, which is crazy. And then here's a unique, this was really cool, unique cross. I want them, I think that Chris said it didn't, didn't, they didn't purposely did it. It just happened. It was an accidental cross. A habanero, uh, let's see, a haber, oh, haber reaper? No, reaper narrow. <laughs> habanero. <laughs> or a reaper, reaper narrow. So it's a cross between a Carolina reaper and a red, red, I guess it's red, red habanero. Anyway, I heard today he said it wasn't very, very hot. Now here's one that he said was really, really hot. The Bubblegum Seven Peach Ghost Jammy. Isn't that cool? Hey, Kevin, what's up, buddy? That's a bubblegum. You know, I didn't know the bubblegums were hot peppers until Chris was telling me that bubblegums are really hot peppers. I didn't realize. I know it's part of the Seven Pop family, but it does have a good name. Look, right there. Go. Why is it backwards? Ghost. Anyway, I'm probably going to skip that one this time, too. I said this is going to be a mini one. What's up, Sergeant Dunn? What's up in the house? Anyway, let's get up into this, shall we? My arm is hurting, man. Ah. I don't remember which one he told me what was what, what's hotter here. Um, I'm going to assume, I know the obviously this one's not going to be as hot, but here we go. Yeah, the bubble gums are warm. Yeah, Jason, your definition of warm is squelcher. <laughs> I had a really, really, really good time the other night with you guys, man. That was awesome. Uh, it was fun. Uh, it's fun. It was fun. I, I had a good time. Too bad the camera was a hot mess, but I was having some <laughs> some serious fun. Anyway, let's get into this. And I'll make sure the camera's not cutting my head off. I went back and watched the video, and I'm like video in my mouth. Like, what in the world was going on there? Anyway, here we go. Lemon Ghostly Jalapeno. I've never had one of these before. Actually, I've had none of these peppers before. So here we go. It was fun. Lives are fun, yeah. <clears throat> Citrusy. No bitter, <clears throat> no floral. Definitely, <clears throat> definitely has the jalapeno side. With it, you know, if you taste the jalapeno, the jalapeno says like the green taste has that, but it also has the tensing side type of thing. So you definitely get an equal balance on the taste. Heat wise, <clears throat> pretty warm for uh, one of those. Let's go ahead and just let's judge this pepper. Judge, judges, stinging the, stinging the tip of the tongue, a little bit on the gums. I want to say there's a, there's a warming of the throat, not a burn. Check these, uh, tried to get behind on my, uh, on the comments. The heat's pretty warm for a jalapeno ghost. That's definitely about a, that's about us. <coughs> and Tomas was telling you that they was those were pretty hot. That pepper got me up to. I'm definitely sitting at a four. All right, bull cow, what you up to, man? That's supposed to be the low one. It's a four. Okay, here we go. All right, I think I'm caught up on the note. Okay, I don't know which one's next on the hot. I'm, a, I'm assuming the Reaper Habanero is probably this. Yeah, oh no, exactly, on a jalapeno. It's burning. It's got like, the tongue is like, ah! I'm salivating. No nose run, no eyes run. I'm on the verge of a capsaicin cough, I think. You know, my mouth started heating up. You don't notice your arm hurting as bad. 
Imagine that. I lost somebody. Who's going to roll out on Chris Miller? The middle of time, family foods and gardening. All right, bull cow. Anyway, let me get a little talk on. Let's get a little game. Chris is a really, really awesome guy, man. I appreciate him. Good dude. He, Me and him talk multiple times a week. He usually calls me. Most of the time, he calls me in the morning before he goes to work. And we chat it up. Tells me how his garden's doing. Talks about work a little bit. Just chatting it up. Checks on to see how things are going with me. Appreciate that about you, buddy. Glad, happy for you, or thankful for your friendship. Let's push that all aside now. Anyway, we're all into the peppers now. now anyway, to this year, Chris took on what he wanted to do for the very first time was he wanted to get into the pod business. So he decided, and he, he's been at it. He's been hardworking daily. I'm he, 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 talking to me uh, I mean, every day. Almost not every, I'll say every day. A lot from even the very beginning, just walking through the pro, you know, the process, you know. Anyway, he did a really good job, man. Um, for not having a ton and ton and ton of experience, but his peppers are turning out really, really awesome. And the varieties he's got are really, really, really cool. So anyway, I don't know what he's actually uh, his prices are. Um, I do know he said he's probably going to have a box unless I'm a day behind. He may have a do actually a one box available coming up. Obviously, as the pod season advances or goes forward, he's going to have a lot more because he's got tons growing, but they're just not ripe yet. So you guys need to get a hold of Uncle Bukow if you want to get some really cool peppers. Get ready, Jason. 30 a box. There you go. Thanks, Jason. So that's not bad because I think I saw other people start charging 40. So his prices are down. I've seen 35 and I've seen 40 this year. One person was selling them for 25, and that was a guy local, Tony Sherwood. His peppers are not necessarily, I mean, they're hot, but they're not like, they're not hot, hot. At least the ones I, I ate weren't. Great tasting, though. And uh, people just be patient. They'll see me. I'm going to burn some more instead of just leaving the video. Let me talk. Why am I doing this review? To heat it up a little bit? Yep. But I'm reviewing these peppers because I want Jason, or Jason, I want Chris, Uncle Bull Cow, to have a successful selling season. And so anyway, I want you guys to get a hold of him because he's got some really cool pods. All right, let's get into another one. I just hope I can keep going, man. That's the, that's the thing because that jalapeno pepper still burning my mouth and I'm still at about a three, high three. That's a hot, that was a hot pod, man, for a look for a jalapeno ghost. I'm watching you, Chris. I'm watching you, buddy. I don't know which one's hotter. Am I going to the right for the right one next, Chris, or am I asking for trouble here? Can you answer? I'm gonna wait for a second. Hey, like the video, guys. I appreciate the algorithm of liking the videos. One of the, one of those wrecked me last night. Oh. Man, what about the lemon scorpion? I don't know where my tolerance is versus your tolerance. Do lemon scorpion. All right, here we go. I've never had one of these, but we're going to get into it. That pot looks dangerous. Yeah, it does look a little dangerous. I'm actually going to do the smaller one of the bunch. He had a bigger one here. I'm just not... My arm's already hurting. I don't need my guts hurting, too. That was fast, wasn't it? Ooh. That one was a nice lemon there, right? Or nice citrusy. Very nice taste. Just, just a hint. Now, you know, when it comes to the floral bitter stuff, it don't take a lot for me to go, ugh, or ugh. I just, I don't know what it is about that stuff. It's just, I don't like it. That one there, very, very piquito, bare, like it just, just a 
just a hint. That was a good pepper. Heat wise, jump back up. Four and a half, four ish, four and a quarter, four and a half. Let's see what we got here. That was a good pepper. Do the okay. No, no one else has said anything. How y'all doing tonight? Oddly enough, man, that hop in there, that pepper I just had, the scorpion. That jalapeno, go goes to jalapeno, was almost as hot as that. That's a that's a sneaky pepper there. I predicting a lot of seven plus heats for me. <coughs> did you eat a whole bunch of ghost peppers today? What did you end up getting up to? I can't remember. <coughs> 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 Where's that call? You did five of them, right? Or did you do more than five? If I was dating my pickup line, if I was dating my pickup line, what in the world? I'd grow the world's hottest pepper in my bedroom. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jerry. I'm good, brother. It's been pouring rain here in Orlando. Four to five peppers. You got up to a four to five of the burn. That <clears throat> that uh that scorpion come up a little bit. I'm hitting at about a five now. A little bit in the ear, in the throat. Mostly it's on the on the tongue still. Now, Chris said he got wrecked. On this guy. Why two bites? <coughs> A little nose run. <coughs> Whoa. Why two bites? <laughs> One bite. Oh, five goes for heat. All right, that's pretty good. Those seem like a milder type of ghost, though. That scorpion pepper's still climbing, man. But I have to wait a second, guys. <coughs> the old cough, the cough, cough, <coughs> cough. <coughs> Probably asking for some trouble tonight. About a five and a half. I hate to be as hot and eat a pepper, man. I, I've already learned my lesson, and I have it twice. Uncle Bullhouse is the best way to try and Or was that the best way of trying it? The Reaper Narrow, man. What a cool cross. What a cool cross. A Reaper Narrow. Has very, very, very little. How any placenta there at all? 
Hmm. Okay. Interesting on the taste. No bitter, no floral. Just kind of like. Just has that habanero taste along with the cinching. Chin sing. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Had that. <clears throat> Got the Reaper taste with just a, a little bit of bitter taste. So far, so good on all the aftertaste, man. He was. I'm still probably in the five range. Starting to sweat a little bit. Let's check the notes, shall we? Where are my likes at, man? Are you guys gonna like my pet, my like my video? It's cool if you don't like me. That's fine. Is it legal to sell what? Yeah, that's where uh, Eaton Gardner sells them. Uh, I may be climbing into a six now. Coming up in the throat. Hey. Face is starting to tingle. Say like my mouth is into a a 
upper six, almost a seven. Yeah. That. Reaper. Re <sighs> Reaper Nero. Ow. My foot tried to cramp up freeze up a little bit or something. Yeah, that head's tingling, face is tingling, eyes are running, my, my, my mouth is saliving. I can't even talk. How about a seven? No, no 911, bro. What's up, Walker? Burning us some bull cow pods. You got some, I have that uh, at Reaper Darrow. It didn't even have a placenta hardly in it. Nice tasted pod. All his pods were like, Good tasting, hardly no flour, no bitter. Very little, very little, little, little of it. I think two of them, barely. Also, you just tasted pepper, good flavor, citrusy, good heat. Even the jalapeno, ghostly jalapeno, kicked me up to about a four, four and a half. I ate the lemon, lemon scorpion, put me at about a five. I ate the Reaper Nero put me at a seven. Face is still tingling. Good job, Chris. Those are good pods, man. And they're juicy. Uh, yeah, they weren't too bad. The, uh, <coughs> Ow. Ow. <coughs> Ow. Ah. Uh, the Reaper Darrow was a... Was a... Uh, it was kind of empty because there was no pot. There was no uh, placenta in that particular one. So it was kind of just empty. So it was like the skin only with a couple seeds. <laughs> what? Yeah. I bet about, about a seven on a three pack mini mini uh a mini gauntlet from Uncle Bull Cow. Check Uncle Bull Cow out on Facebook. Or you can find him at Uncle Bull Cow Hot Sauce.com or Uncle Bull Cow Hot Sauce. Sorry about the Uncle Bull Cow. It's because I have my I'm all uh, can't talk when I'm hot, but I'm burning. Chris has hot sauces too that are really good, and he has tinctures. I just did one of his tinctures last night. Very smooth face off. Did about a half glass, three quarters glass. Got me about a six and a half. So he's got some good stuff he's putting out right now. Good quality stuff. A A O K O A O T butt we. <sighs> nice job. Though as much I'm gonna, I'm probably going to make another video possibly tomorrow. I'll do I'll do another gauntlet. Possibly the next 3. The uh 
Mustard Ghost, the Bubblegum 7, and, that, and oh, wait, wait, that might be a tough one. And the Seven Pot Chocolate. We may end up doing them separate videos. We'll see. <coughs> if I hang out here long enough, Oops. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Anyway, my wife is trying to call me, so I'm going to have to end this video. She'll probably try to call me back here in a second. Anyway, guys, I appreciate the support. Thank you for following me tonight. Thank you for watching tonight. Check out Uncle Bull Cow. I'll leave his information down below after this video of a repost. And you can get a hold of him for some awesome pods this year. I think he's got a box coming up. He'll have one other box ready. He's got some tank. He's got some sauce. Get at him, like he 